Hi Taurus, getting ready to do your monthly reading. See what the cards have to say for you. Definitely the work situation looks good this month. You're going to get an offer in. This could be something that's going to uh, pay very well. So if you've been putting a resume out lately or we're looking for projects to work on or things to start, you're going to get an opportunity. Either someone's going to contact you, that type of thing, or you're going to make a decision. Um, you're going to like what you get too. And this is all because you, you know, made the effort, you manifested, you put your energy out there. Um, because you have this with the six of wands, you're feeling good, the nine of coin. This is something that's definitely going to make you some money. Definitely going to, um, yeah, be well, you know, it's going to pay well. If it is a project that you've decided to start to work on, um, definitely keep working on it with the magician there. He's saying, you know, don't stop, take the action, just keep moving forward. So definitely the work, the money looks good there. Could be dealing with a fire sign or you may have met someone new. Um, Fire signs are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but the King of Wands is a nice person in a reading, just as this card. He's someone that you probably will meet in the month of May, and he's going to maybe make you pause and kind of take a second look, because you have the Hermit, or this could be your partner. This could be someone that you do care about. This is someone close to you that's coming up as a fire sign, because that's kind of a warm, friendly energy. It's kind of... um. It's someone who's willing to like sit down and talk with you or go do something with you. Um, they're in a good space. So maybe it's time to spend a little more time with your partner, some one-on-one -on -one time. Maybe they might feel neglected. But I'm going to put them to the side because for whatever reason, they're telling you to take some time with this person. Now, this can be a queen for you guys if you're, this is a female. Because um, you may, they, let me pull out a few cards to see why they want you to spend time with this person. Or I'll leave it to the side and we'll see. Because it'll probably tie in. Because if you are getting some new work in, this could be someone from the past, possibly for a few. So there could be someone um, getting back in touch with you. It's not necessarily romantic, but it could be. It could be, could be a friendship or family that may um, have good have significance in your life. This is someone who maybe they were thinking, have been thinking about you for a while also. Um, they were contemplating whether to get back in touch with you and you are going to have a do over with the judgment card. This person really, I feel like they may not want to, may, they may have softened in the time that you guys are apart. Um, they may be willing more to show their emotions and to, um, like go out of their way for you. They've been doing a lot of thinking about the past and, um, they want to do over. You may not though. You put a lot of time and effort into either them in the past or you may have um, put more a lot of effort into yourself. Are you going down a new road now? So I think for some of you, you know, yeah, you're going to get money and work. You're going to be, fo yeah, you're going to be focused on your money in the month of May and your stability. And you don't want anyone coming in and ruining that, taking that. Like you've got a lot going on on your plate and you're excited. It's new opportunities or a new job or you're going to start really like focusing on your money. And if you focus on your money this month and don't let other people disrupt you, you're going to um, really make some some cash. Some of you may have been studying, maybe in school, and you may be now going into the workforce, or you got some type of education or certifications, and you're switching careers. And I'm seeing that this is really going to pay off, really pay off. So keep putting in the time and effort. If it's steady, 
if you're looking for some type of work and you haven't found it yet, it's going to come in. It's going to pay off. Um, all the effort you've put into the past is paying off. Whether that was, you know, your your schoolwork or into yourself, investing into yourself, it's going to pay off. And if you haven't, and if you're looking to go that route, this is the time to start doing that because it will pay off in the future. Um, I see. I definitely see there could be someone um, definitely trying to either come back around and um, <clears throat> they may be watching you. They may, as there's someone from the past, they may be seeing that you're doing better or do making money or and now they all of a sudden want to kind of come back around again or don't let them break up your flow because you're kind of in a, going to be in a stream where I see that you're making money or you're, you're progressing. Things are coming together for you finally in the month of May. Um, thing, you know, efforts you put have paid off. Yeah, there could be a lot of chaos around this person. You know, you have three fives all right in a row. Challenges, instability. But you got nine of cups. Wishes coming true. Things changing. Um, yeah, you're moving forward. So what this is showing me here is that there has been, you know, conflict in the past. There has been s s betrayal. You know, the Five of Swords can represent, you know, arguments, betrayals, soaking the Five of Wands. And you were either left out in the cold emotionally or financially, but things are going to change. You are moving forward. You're saying, you know, enough's enough. I don't want this. I really feel like it's a situation, though, with someone here. Um, you don't want that anymore. You don't want to go backwards. You don't want to go back to the old. You want to move forward to the new. You want to build, rebuild your life and make money. Um Because yeah, you just don't you you have no intention to go back to going back to any type of chaos or any type of money. You want you want to build your finances. You want to um, start something new, and I see that in the month of May definitely. Yeah, some of you may have definitely been in a situation with an earth sign or there's an earth sign coming in. So you had a lot of hopes and dreams about your um, love life. You know, you had a lot of expectations and they were all, you know, they were dashed. Again, you have a lot of fives coming out in your reading. But... Um, So for some of you, you want, yeah, you want the whole thing. You want your cake. You want to eat it too. You want the whole thing. I feel like either you were involved in a fire sign and they're trying to come back around, but there was just too much heartache and heartbreak from the past. And now you may be dealing with an earth sign like yourself, obviously another Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, or that could be you building your money. Again, because I'm, I'm seeing that you need to focus on your money and not love in the month of May because you have opportunities coming up. And um, if you take this wave of, you know, opportunity with creating, you know, financial abundance and stability and not really focusing on lo love and not letting anyone come from the past come in or disrupt your flow, you could be definitely in a good position. And then once you have that in place, you will be, you will be ready in love. But this spread, I do see that you were... You know, you had a lot of dreams and hopes and expectations for your love life or for a partnership and it didn't work out. And it was just like those cups came down and they're on the floor and they're spilt. Now, again, I don't know the sign of who this person person is. I do have, like I said, the wands here and the earths here, but I don't want to pinpoint it to just a specific sign in a general reading like this. But I do see things turning around in your favor. Because you have two of cups, you have the three of cups being very happy, which turned into the ten of cups. But with strength being at the end, the clarifier, the major arcana, it tells me that this could take a little time and effort and work. And you're not sure if you want to put the effort in anymore. But this is showing me that it's available and it's coming in. 
Um, some of you may have already like said, screw love. Let's just focus on the money. So this reading is you're saying, well, yeah, I've already focused on my money. I get it. I'm not, I'm kind of not, I'm giving up on love. And this is saying, you know, don't give on, up on love at the page of swords. Don't turn your back. Don't get cynical. Don't get, um, like, well, you know, I'm not, I'm just not going to do that anymore because it never works out because it's showing me that you, this is available. Because this is you, obviously, in your power, very strong. That's what I'm saying. I feel like you kind of like turned your back on love and became very independent, strong, uh, male or female. You came, you coming up in your own energy, and you're saying, you know, screw love. But two of cups is here. Three of cups and ten of cups. So I'm gonna put a card on the two of cups because. This can be a partnership in work or a love, a friendship, but you know, it can be someone, yeah, that you really, you could be meeting a friend with two of cups going to three of cups to 10 of cups, but I know most of you probably don't want to hear that. You are looking for, if you're going to, you know, two of cups means a love partnership. So let me put a card on there to kind of clarify if this is, okay, yeah, you're manifesting it. You are bringing it in with three of wands, but it's not in May. I feel like with the strength card now and the three of wands, it's saying, yes, you can bring this in. It's going to take time with the strength. Be strong. You can't really control it. You can't control the timing and you can't control when it comes in. And I feel like it's not coming in right now. You have two threes, so it could be within, you know, three months. But don't give up hope on love in the long run, okay? Just because we're focusing on your money this time around and there's more, like, looks like opportunities for that. Don't um, turn your back because it's there. Don't give up hope and, and think that love is lost and you can't have love. is not meant for you in the cars because it is. I still have that king of wands out. I'm not quite sure if this is someone you need to talk to or spend time with. I'm going to put a card on him now because I'm tired of him sitting there. He's just sitting there looking. Let's see what he's about. What's the king of wands about? What do we need to know about this king of wands? Okay, yeah. So be careful with this this king of wands fire sign. He may come back. He's either been waiting for the right opportunity to come back to you. Either you guys already broke up once and it was pretty devastating to you. And you've been spending a long time thinking about him. I, I'm just kidding. Don't go back. Don't do this one. Okay. He's, he may come back, with, like I said, his best foot forward if, if I said that. But I'm getting he's going to really try. Definitely take the time out to rethink the situation. I feel like he's been thinking about you and he's waiting to come back. But it's just not going to turn out good with the, with the tower here. Okay. Once an ex, usually there's a reason they're an ex. Yeah, death. Definitely change is coming. I also feel like it's saying change. If it's someone from past, don't, don't, you need, you need new. Like I was saying, once an ex, there's a reason that they're an ex and they usually don't change, right? Hmm. I feel like there's going to be some of you may be splitting off from a family member or having some type of, you know, argument within the month of May. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but, but the Queen of Swords represents someone who's either they're going to give you some good advice, but with the, with the surrounding cards, I feel like this person is just a pain in the ass. You may go looking for help or they may come in, coming to you looking for help. They could be someone looking for some, some money. Like she's got her hand out and like you're looking at your last coin um, and saying, you know, 
do I really want to give this away? This person has never really been on my side. They could be coming back around. Again, this is like getting rid of old people or situations in your life that don't benefit you. So someone's coming back around, I think, and going to butter you up, going to offer something. Maybe they'll take you out for lunch or coffee, but they're just a pain in the ass. They're going through a lot. They need some money. They need some help, and they're going to ask you. And Either they, either they know you have some type of money in your, you know, that you can give them or they know you have family money or there's some type of, um, it's literally like a showdown. I'm literally seeing like a showdown between the two of you. Like they, um, they're telling you every reason why you should be helping them. And I think you're going to, you're going to speak your truth this month. You're not going to let this person get away with some shady behavior. You're definitely going to, um, you may get backing from someone to help you, but in the family, because I almost feel like for some of you, this is someone in your family. So some of you may have some clarity this month about someone, the way they're treating you, um, how they're acting. Um, for some of you, because this is in, in like United States, um, this is Mother's Day coming up in May. So the Queen of Swords quite often represents a mom. Um, I know some of your moms are very, um, uh, some are very loving, but they're very strict or they're very like, they try to do the best, you know, they very like tell you what they want you to, they think you should be doing, or they could of course come up with something a little more warm, like the earth sign, but we know that, you know, that is you. If it's not family or friends, and this is another person also, again, be careful of how them, them, how they're like lying. They're, they're going to come in one way and, but they actually, or they could be hiding what they're, what's going on. You may have someone come to you with some problems and they need your assistance and help and you don't really want to help. Maybe you don't like this person. You've had troubles in the past. Um, or you're very quick to help them in the past, maybe financially, or, and this could be a guy definitely also, you know, it goes both ways to be careful of how, um, just be careful of the situation. Cause you have a lot of cards here of like, I see mistrust. I see new, like new thoughts, new beginnings, understanding what's going on with this person. And like either how they're acting or the situations unclear, and you're, you're going to get clarity this month or they're, you know, you're just, you're going to see through someone's lies. I feel like someone's lying to you around you. Someone is not being truthful and they're acting one way, you know, like buttering you up or, but they're not. So be careful of a situation like that. This month you're going to get clarity. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing is what I'm getting in this reading. Um, don't, don't give away money. Don't let anyone talk you into doing anything that you don't want to do. Be assertive. Stand up for yourself. I think this is a month to be assertive with someone who you've let either kind of push you around or um, um, they kind of, you know, you give in too quickly. I feel like it's a month that that's not, you're not going to allow that to happen. You're going to stand up for yourself. Now, if it's going the other way, but this is someone where you, and I don't see this quite as strongly in the cards. If this is someone that you tend to just like shut out very quickly, not listen to them, not listen, listen to their side of the story, you just don't care. Um, you might want to listen this month around if it's the opposite way. And because there's some type of clarity coming in with someone who's close to you, who they're hiding details, they're hiding things from you. And they, they do look like they, um, because you definitely, you, you seem to be defending your family or defending your money or you're just, you're standing up for your, for yourself is kind of what I'm seeing with this combination. Like you're not coming after me, you're not coming after my life, my money, my family, anything along that line also. Because you are, if this, like, there's a change coming and there is um, for you, but you're going to be more assertive. You're going to stand up for yourself. You're not going to let anyone like push you around in the month of May. You're going to get some clarity. I see this a month of, of really just having like your finances are coming together. You're coming to order. You're not going to let other people come into your life 
and disrupt that and you're going to um, you know take care of yourself and your needs and your if you have children or your family's needs that type of thing yeah Empress you have the You have a King of Cups here. You have a lot of people in your spread this month. So you are going to be dealing with more outside influences. Some of the readings are more internal. This is more external for you, I'm noticing, in your monthly reading, Taurus. You have a lot of kings and queens and people. Um, so that means a lot of outside activity, people bothering you. Um, you have a King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces are the water signs, but it doesn't have to be. It can be something more loving, emotional, because you have two opposites to me when the, in the card meanings. And the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, So this, but this could be someone acting cold. Um, you could be, this could, I could read this as two different people or someone acting two different ways. Um, either way, there's some type of secrets Yeah, some of you may, may be in a relationship also. And this is for other ones because I'm getting different, like quite a few different messages with people. So this one may not apply, whereas the other one does, doesn't apply and this one will. You could be in a relationship already with someone and you are getting messages from someone else coming back around again. And this could be back going to like that fire sign. It does not have to be a fire sign, but you could be in a relationship. Um, someone may be trying to get your attention they know you're already, you know, they know you're already within a relationship. They really like you. I feel like the Empress, they're really admiring you. They've had their eye on you. Um, they want to come in and restart something. I feel like either you're in a relationship already or you are not, but you don't want to be. You don't care. And this person, I feel like, is going to hit on you. They're going to talk to you, text you. They're going to really try hard, I feel. They're going to make a big effort to get back into contact with you to, to, um, you're going to just kind of like hang out. Either you're going to be like, I, either you're going to shut them down quickly and say, no, go away. Or you're not going to be quite sure what to do. But either way, this person has their eye on you and they've been watching you and noticing you for a while now, or they, you've already known each other and they've been thinking about you. I'm just saying if anyone comes back around, it's not going to be good news. If they want to have like secrets with you or send you secret texts and um, doesn't matter if you're not interested, it's just a bad deal all the way around. Because I feel like you have a lot of opportunities and blessings coming in, so don't ruin it or don't. And I just feel like the, the higher fonts is saying, you know, no, putting his hand up to like what's, what's not good, who's not good. Empress is, you know, again. Things are going to go well for you, but I just feel like in this spread is saying that you are being admired by someone. Someone is looking at you. They are interested, but you have other good things going for you. You don't want to ruin it with this situation or this person. And this could definitely be someone who acts two different ways. Like they're totally like one day they're nice. The next day they're mean. They're just like cold. But, um, and they may come across this time around like, oh, I changed. I, I really changed. I'm a better person. I really love you. I'm going to refix it. But I'm just saying it's not good. I see you just have too many good things in your life already to be involved with someone like that. And they're going to come on pretty hot and heavy and strong in the month of May. But again, I don't, I just don't think that. You know, they are not worth your time and effort. All right, so I'll do one more row. Let's see what else. The messages are very, for you guys, they're not, they're very all over the place, but that means they're talking to more than one group. And if the, and you may, and you're going to have a lot going on in your life that's dealing with other people, like I said, in the month of May. Um, and so I think that's why they brought out the money cards first. Focus on your money. Focus on you. Put your ducks in a row and get your life in order. And don't let these other people, because you're going to have other people in the month of May, um, like try to pin you down, trap you, uh, take your time, take your money. 
um, come after you with lies, deceptions. Yeah, you you are attractive. And people are looking at you, but don't you know let that you know don't get that off your guard and think oh you know don't let the flattery like um, mislead you because you definitely have um, spread a lot of uh, like I'm saying. Some of the readings focus only on love. Some read only on money or only on people and their what they're doing. This is a lot of people around you. I mean, you have too many people around you giving you advice, trying to get in your life, trying to bother you, trying to tell you what to do or take your money. You don't want that and need that. You just want to focus on you and your family, if you have family or children or your career, um, whatever is your important thing. Because I feel like this is a month of maybe being tested or being assertive, standing up for yourself and not um, backing down. Because you will be getting an opportunity and you will be deciding. This can be two people with the water, you know, something emotional. This can be money or work. Um, but they are saying that if you do get an opportunity in, anything you get in where you're deciding, you feel out of sorts. Maybe it catches you off guard. It's a person coming back, talking to you. You did care about this person at one time. You had a relationship. Do not, do not go, do not answer them quickly. Do not go out with them. Do not do anything doesn't matter if this is a parent or your mom, someone causing a fight. Take the time to think this through. Just say, hey, I'll get back to you and put the phone down. You know, I think you guys are good at that kind of stuff. And then you're going to have to listen to your intuitions, what they're saying. Rest. Take a step back. Nobody is that important to come into your life and disrupt it and cause you, cause your life disruption. Okay? So take the time out and... Um, don't move too quickly. Think things through this month. Think offers through this month. Take your time. Focus on your money. Focus on you and what's important to you and not other people. Because you have a lot of people coming in, I feel like, and bothering you. So have a great month. I'll be back.